Hi everyone, I'm Eve Pearl and I'm lucky enough to be here with Amanda. And Amanda today is going to be getting a little makeup application. Actually, Amanda is a fantastic makeup artist, but she did one of our last mailers, which I thought she looked amazing, adorable, gorgeous, and did a wonderful job. And please tell her that. <laughs> and uh, Amanda, what did you think? Uh, I thought I looked a little washed out. I felt a little chubby. Uh, I thought yeah, maybe the angle wasn't so good, but I would love for my makeup to look tip top. So try it again. <laughs> See how cute she is? And this is what <laughs> women do. When we look at ourselves in pictures and photographs and videos, we're... But that's okay, <laughs> because I'm going to show you all... I'm going to show you little techniques to get all those things done, and I'm actually going to exaggerate them a little so you can learn the technique. So the system, the process will always be the same. It's just the intensity will be different and modified for you, depending on the intensity you want it. All right, so we're about to start. And I okay. think you're adorable, gorgeous. <laughs> all right, here we go. So we're going to start out with matching Amanda's foundation. So this is the medium, medium foundation. So let me just see if I use the medium here. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work nicely because it'll give you that little contour and still match everything. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to start out with priming moisturizer. Okay, and we do a little priming moisturizer. Oh. So we start out with the lightest side A of the medium. I'm going to do the eyes, taking the wet sponge, I'm still going to take the neutral pressed powder and apply pressed powder. All right, I'm gonna use the Diva palette for Amanda. And I'm actually gonna use the, the Shadow Mix and Seal. This is great if you want your makeup to stay and last for a long time. It's a little bit of liquid and I, put, I poured it right into the side here and it's gonna turn any one of these powder, you know, pigment blunt, uh, eyeshadows into a creamy texture that will allow the makeup to stay on and become waterproof. So I love using this. But I start out with actually using the same pressed powder all over your eyelids again. I just want to show you the process, the system. This is the Black Pearl Liner. And I'm going to apply the Black Pearl Liner over your eyes as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm going to actually extend them out a little bit. The Diva Palette with and eyeliner brush. This is The liner brush is the same one that you can use for your eyebrows or your liner. I'm going to take a little bit of this liquid and I'm going to put it on the black and a little bit on the blue. Okay, close. And I'm going to create this beautiful, beautiful extended line that's going to stay on your eyes. Now we're going to take the crease smudger brush. I'm going to put it on the green and the blue. I'm going to create that little bit of the V. Open. I'm going to give her a little bit of a cat eye. Close. I'm going to go and use my blender brush and I'm going to use the two warmer colors, the middle and outer, and I'm going to put the blender brush right on the edge and take it all out. The On Natural palette, because I'm going to need this for her eyebrows anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer color. I love the little bronzer color. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to actually take now a fresh a fresh brush that I'm going to use on the lightest color here of the Au Naturel palette. And I'm going to put that right here on the inner lid. And also right up on the brow bone. So the lightest color. I'm going to go back into these same colors with the smudger brush and I'm going to use 
the shadow mix and seal and go into the blue and the green. The first thing I did is I wanted to make sure I had the placement of the colors where I was going to like them before I committed to using the shadow mix and seal. And once you know that that's where you want your shadows to go, now you can use the mix and seal and really intensify the colors. We're going to go back one more time into our bright colors. And the same thing, I'm going to use these two bright colors and now I'm going to take them, extend it out. And the same thing here. Okay. I'm going to do some lashes. And you know, the trick to having lashes look amazing is taking the black pearl liner and actually filling in all the black area around the lashes which I've already pre-done. Take my tweezer, take the lashes. These are the 101s. I'm gonna measure them on Amanda's eye, close. And once I know the size, I'm gonna cut off the excess from the back area. And then I'm gonna actually just trim around. I cut off from the back and then I'm gonna trim around the outside edge. Just trim that. And if you feel that the inside edges are too long, you could trim that too. You could trim anything you like. So I'm going to take it, take the Epro Black Eyelash Glue, and you know when this is wet, it's gray, like that, and then when, it's, when it dries, it dries matte black. So I'm going to turn it upside down and just get, you know, not an overly generous amount, but just enough, a decent amount that it covers the entire row on the inside with a tweezer and the outside with your finger. So you get close to the lash line and you apply your lash. And once you've applied your lash, and you tell the person, can you just open your eyes halfway? Open them a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Just make sure they're not, you wanna make sure that you do not stick the person's eyes shut. Every once in a while you just might, just pull them apart. And if it's you doing it to yourself, if they should, be glued shut, just pull them apart. Don't panic. Open all the way. Okay, good. Okay. And you let that dry. We do the other one. Now, as soon as you have the placement there of the lash that you know that it's on, you want to make sure you start the flip up process, which is this right here. We're going to flip the lash up and the same thing on this side. But notice with these 101 lashes, I'm actually holding the front the inner part down and the outer part I'm flipping up. So the inner part down and the outer part flipping up. So open. Great. A little hair. And you want to make sure that the lash is as close to her own natural lash line as possible. So if you have to pull them down, pull them down. Okay. Great. So I'm going to take the liner brow brush with the unnatural palette. I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two. And first thing you do is you wanna brush the eyebrows up. And we do this while the lashes are drying so we don't waste time. First placement of this is gonna go right above where her arch is. We're gonna pull it out. Fill them in. While that's still drying, we're actually going to take our brownie pencil and I'm going to line open and I'm going to actually line the entire lower lash with the brownie. Well, this, during this time, the lashes would have already dried. Okay, so we're going to take the mascara and you take your pinky finger and we're gonna just weave the lashes, Amanda's natural, her own lashes with the new fake lashes. And we're weaving them together. And then once you apply mascara to them, they will be one. So at this point, we wanna check to see how the, the lash glue 
dried and stuff like that. And if there's any non-evenness on top of the eyes, all you have to do is you want to just take your your original brush that you were using for the colors and go back into your shadow mix and seal and go back into whatever colors you want. Like I'm going to use the black, the black, the blue and the green. So black, blue and green and close. And I'm going to make this line really smooth. So I'm going to go over it one more time and make it really, really smooth and extend it open. Yeah, like that. And we're going to take the medium foundation our foundation brush. Now watch, I'm taking the B side, which is the darker side, and I'm applying it here on her cheeks. The same thing on the other side. The darker side goes on the cheeks and also on your chin and on the forehead. And I'm going to apply the A side here, right below, and here, and around the lips here and I'm going to combine the two for the nose area. Taking my sponge, wetting it some more. So the first layer I want to make sure it just goes in evenly and I'm also going to use the medium, the medium salmon concealer. I'm going to take the concealer brush. I'm going to take a little brush to use as a concealer brush a little bit of the salmon concealer and we place it right here not too too close to the under eye area because we don't need a lot of product foundation with another brush and I'm going to take the darkest color of the tan, okay? And I'm basically going to put the darkest color right here and I'm also going to put that right here. You see down here, I'm going to take this in by the ear and also down right underneath her chin. the back of the sponge and I'm mixing those darker colors now if you really want to make your cheekbones pop this is the lightest color of the light if you take another brush and take it to the lightest color of the light now watch this a little bit of the blemishes, you can also put the darkest color where the blemishes are. If you want to have a little blush and you take a little bit of the rosy, this is the same dark brush that I use for the contour. You can take a little bit of this and just use this as your blush and just a hint of it. If you wanted to, you can certainly take still your fan brush, all three colors, apply your, because you want to actually powder this so it sets and does not move. And if you want to make them even more so, we're going to take our crease blush brush into the powder, into the neutral powder, and put that right here. Look at that. And the same thing right here. Okay, a little bit up here. And we are now going to take back our neutral 
uh, our neutral palette into our mini smudger brush into the bronze and I'm going to do that right underneath the liner Oops. that we did because I want to make sure that it just looks it takes those colors way down so like she's like a bronzy goddess straight ahead and I can add a little bit more blue and green if I wanted to take the same brush add it into the green and the blue if I take a little bit of the shadow mix and seal that will ensure this is not going to move so I'm going to take a little bit of the blue and green right underneath on both sides now it's time for lips and Amanda already has such beautiful lips I'm not even going to line them. I'm just going to give you some Honey Bunny Baby Doll. Got all these bronze colors on you. So a little bit. Oh, you know, I just thought of a great little trick. I totally forgot. If you just take your rosy, hello, if you take your little rosy color and take it with a little brush and you like to have a nude lip, you can actually put a little bit of the rosy first. that and we're going to take our brush with our honey bunny baby doll and just put that all over your lips and basically you have like your nude little lip and I mean I think you'd be ready to go but for those of you that might want to have a little bit more color you can always afterwards take a pencil if you don't think like I like it the way it is but if it's not enough for you you can take a pencil afterwards don't be scared you can take a pencil always afterwards and add a little bit more depth. But she's got really beautiful lips, so I don't want to mess them up. I want to do one last, last thing. I want to take the medium color here, and I'm going to go right underneath her brow bone and just clean all this up. OK, how does your, your skin feel? How do you feel? My skin feels great. I love it. It's light. <laughs> all right, check out Amanda on our next mailer. She'll do this all on her own. It's a little bit new, a new twist on things I've been doing. And uh, please do subscribe, write in, let us know what you want to see. Thank you, Eve Pearl, Amanda Hutzier. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.